Here are some tips to help you feel less sleepy and more alert at work. First on the list, basic sitting exercises. Doing simple and quick sitting exercises during work break can make you feel more alert and think more clearly. Wendy Suzuki, professor of neural science at New York University and author of Healthy Brain, Happy Life, shared in her recent TED Talk that her lab had shown that a single workout can improve your ability to shift and focus attention, and that focus improvement will last for at least two hours. So, let's get started. First, let's do arm circles. Sit on the chair with back straight, legs bent at the knees 90 degrees, and feet planted on the floor. Touch your shoulders with your fingers, and without moving any other parts of your body, roll your arms backward continuously in a circular motion. Make 40 arm circles dynamically. Next up, neck rotation. Rotate your chin towards your right shoulder. Hold for 20 seconds. You may use your hand to push your head further into the stretch. Bring your head back to the center, and then rotate it to the left. Again. Holding for 20 seconds. Repeat 3 to 5 times on each side. Let's do some twisting. Let's have Russian twists. Sit on the edge of the chair. Lift your legs. Bend your legs at the knees and lean slightly back without rounding your spine. Bend your arms so your elbows are level with the bottom of your ribcage. Pull your navel in and twist slowly to the left. Inhale and twist to the right. Repeat the exercise dynamically 30 times on each side. This time, let's do some push-ups. This is a great cardiovascular exercise also and gets the blood to your brain in a hurry. You can do this exercise on the edge of your desk. Let's improve our posture and strengthen our core by doing chair squats. Stand in front of the chair with your legs shoulder width apart. Squat down like you are sitting on the chair but without actually touching it. Maintain a proper position, back straight, weight on the heels, hands together, arms bent at the elbows. Straighten your legs to go back to the starting position. Repeat the movement 20 times. Second on the list you can do to maintain your focus and alertness is having breathing exercises. You probably don't think about breathing often, but your oxygen intake can impact your focus. Breathing exercises help increase your oxygen intake, which can relax you and allow you to work smarter. While sitting on a chair, place your shoulders firmly against the back of your seat and sit up straight. Breathe out as much air as you can, and then inhale slowly from your diaphragm, taking in as much air as possible, Hold for a count of five, and then exhale slowly. Repeat for a set of 10. Third, go for a walk. Walking is a great way to wake up and refresh your brain, especially if you can sneak outside where the air is fresh to do it. According to the American Heart Association, walking reduces the risk of heart disease, improves blood sugar levels, and even reduces the risk of breast and colon cancer. It also reduces stress and boosts your mood. If you can't go out, simply walk around the area you're in. Fourth, drink more water. To those pros who don't feel the effect of coffee in their bodies anymore to keep them awake, I have good news for you. You can drink water instead. Research shows that even mild dehydration can significantly impact short-term memory and attention. To combat this, make sure you're getting enough water each day. Staying hydrated can never make you feel tired. Not only will it keep you energized, but will also get your metabolism working well through the day. Fifth, listen to Christian songs. If you can't stimulate your body, stimulate your spirit. Grab your phone and listen to Christian songs. Worship songs in particular have a soothing and calming effect in the brain. Worship songs can set your mood and raise your spirituality to the next level. Better yet, grab your coworkers and share with them your worship playlist. Always remember faith-filled professionals what 1 Corinthians 3.16 says, Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's Spirit dwells in you? 
And as stated in Ephesians 2.10, we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Thus, while accomplishing our God-given destiny, we should also be taking good care of ourselves. I hope you learned a lot. So, if you've got a question, ask Wired. Be blessed and be wired to God, wired to excellence.